Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a Poundland video for you today. It's been a while, so I thought it's about time we did one. But this one is a Poundland video with a difference. So in today's video, we are going to be finding 100 items from Poundland around my home. So it's gonna be like, do you remember that kids show Finders Keepers? We're just gonna go and rampage around the place and look for things from Poundland. And I'm gonna show you everything that I've got in my home from Poundland until we get to 100 items. I'm pretty convinced that there will be that many. So fingers crossed there will be. So we will see, it's a bit of a challenge. You could do the same as well in your home. If you do, do let me know how you get on. You can always tag me in a picture over on Instagram. I'm not gonna collect them because I wouldn't be able to carry them all. That could be interesting. <laughs> Maybe that's for a different video. Video. This video is also a really exciting one because it is in collaboration with my good friend Kate McCabe here on YouTube. Kate also loves a bit of Poundland and she picked up some items before we went into lockdown. So she's going to dig those out and do a bit of a haul for you. So if you want to see what she managed to pick up in store before we went into lockdown, then that will be over on Kate's channel and I'll link that in the description box down below. Do make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already when you head over there because she is fab. And when things are back to normal, she loves a bit of thrifting and charity shopping and all that good stuff. Car boot sales, oh, I can't even think about it. Anyway, let's get our little Poundland fix. Poundland stores are still open at the minute and they are a great place to pick up essentials. So I'm really not trying to encourage any unnecessary visits to Poundland, but I have to say they do have some really good essentials in store, such as various food items, they have cleaning products, they have pet food, they have DIY stuff, they have kind of a lot of handy things. So maybe this will kind of show you a bit of what might be in store in case you are looking to get some essentials. So please take this as just a little bit of fun. 100 items from Poundland in my home. Let's go and see what we can find. So before we jump in, if you're new here and if you've come over from Kate's channel, it's great to see you here. Do click subscribe for weekly videos and if you enjoy this one, you'd like to see something similar, then do give it a little thumbs up. Right, are you ready? Let's go. Oh, there's actually one behind me. Two in fact. So we'll start with this one. This is actually a DIY, so we will see a few DIYs as we go around today. This is a plant stand here that I picked up for one pound, of course. Oh, I forgot to say the land where everything used to be one pound, but it's not anymore, and some things 50p, some things are five pounds, and some things are two pounds, and all that, I forgot. It's been such a while. <laughs> Never mind. it's probably really annoying when I say that, so apologies. Um, also in here is a sort of bin, like a, yeah, it was just like a little rubbish bin that I added some, um, a placemat to. So that's two. Right, let's go. On the mantelpiece we have this small cactus. That's three. I've also got some fake flowers from Poundland. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I think these ones all look really quite nice and quite realistic. I've gone for neutral colours as you can see. Down here we have a vase. This was actually a present from Kate. It was a two pounds item, which I think was really good value for such a big vase. So thank you for this, Kate. That is number nine. Hidden behind this wreath, we have this hanging frame that was part of the Mother's Day range that I did add some sticky labels to, but I need to change it up. So I'll probably pop a photo in there. That's number 10. We have another plant stand here, number 11 that I DIY'd. It did come with like a metal um, planter inside, but I added a thrifted plant pot. And the roses are sitting in this kilner jar that was also from Poundland number 12. In the TV stand, we have this CD DVD storage holder, number 13. And these are great because you literally get loads in there. 14. On the bar cart here we have one of these lovely plant pots. I thought they were really good value when they were in store because it's this nice concrete design. And I've got this little Christmas cactus in it. Number 15 we have this things to do pad. These are brilliant if you want to get yourself organised because they have the to-do list that you can tick off. They have a section for the date, priorities and goals and they're double sided as well so you get loads of sheets on these. And then number 16, we have this coaster. You get a set of four and I DIY'd this using some paint and some nail polish. I think that's the living room done. Let's move on to the kitchen. Okay, so 17, we have some fake plants. 17, 18, 19. So they come in different designs and they're in these sort of 
little white pots. They look quite nice on their own. What did I say? 17, 18, no, I'm gonna lose count, 19. Okay, and then 20, we have another little cactus here. And 21, we have a DIY plant hanger that I added the string to. I'm just scanning around to see what I can spot. This was a citronella candle, so that is number 22. And somebody wants to say hi, number 23. On to some cleaning supplies. Let's see what came from Poundland in here. I know that these definitely did, so that's 24. And also um, these refuse sacks as well. 25. Oh, we're doing well. Um, on to some brushes, 26 and 27. And I really liked these because I thought they looked quite posh for one pound each with the wooden handles. I feel like I had some more of those somewhere. I can't remember whether this stuff came from Poundland. They do sell all this stuff, but I don't know if I can include it. Here we are. Here's the other brush, 28. Are we on? No. I think it's 28. I'm very bad at keeping count and looking for things at the same time. Multitasking isn't my forte. 28, the brush. And this, you can see, had a go at the red stairs, hence the red fluff that's in there. Just have a little look down here. I know some of the mugs are from Poundland. This one was from there, so that's 29. I get so excited, I wet my plants. And let's see what else we've got. Oh, this one as well. This is a classic, it's my get it sh it done mug. With no handle, it was a travel mug, but I lost the lid to it. Let's have a look in the cupboards. I don't think any of the glasses are from there, but these plates, these were part of the student range when it was kind of like back to uni time. And I really liked the design of these. I thought they looked quite posh and they were one pound each. So that's 31, and I think I've got four of these. 32, 33, 34. We have another DIY here that was made from Poundland items. So it was a couple of their spice racks, 35, 36, and one of their hanging plaques, 37, that I painted and stuck together. And we have a spatula, 38. This is part of the Jane Asher range. They have lots of good baking stuff in Poundland. 39 they do these reusable straws so you get four in a pack you get a couple of bendy ones like this and then you also get two straight ones and a cleaning brush which i thought was really good for one pound naughty 40 we've got some salt i've got this massive thing of pink rock salt that's got the grinder in it for one pound number 41 we have an old school diy this was one of their hanging lanterns that i spray painted and then turned it into a little terrarium 42 we have this meal planner that's really handy although not currently in use and we also have 43 this weekly planner again not much going on at the moment <laughs> and then they also do these ones as well that say to effing do my to-do list is empty, my diary's empty, my meal plan is empty. My life is empty. I'm just showing people things from Poundland. I think that was 44. 45, on top of the fridge, we have one of these little baskets that are really handy for storing all sorts of things in. As you can see, there's some garlic, onion, and a random container of lime juice that I have never got around to using. 46, we have a mop that smells, so I'm gonna put it down. 47, we have a picture frame. So these are just plastic with a plastic front on them, but yeah, pretty nice. I forgot the mixing bowl, 48. And also these plastic serving bowls, which are great for the garden. And I think they look really stylish. How about that for a really nice design? 49, 50. Oh, I missed one. 51, they do these spray bottles that are good for things like gardening or you can make up your own cleaning solution, which is what I've done. I've just added 15 mil of bleach into there, which works really good as a disinfectant. 52, we have these notebooks that were also a gift from Kate and they say this and that. You get two in a pack, so I'm going to count those as one item for 52. We also have this handy phone charger thing and it's quite handy as well because it has the two adapters on the end. So like one for an iPhone and one for, I'm not gonna be able to get that off with one hand. One of these ends, which is good for charging up like your phone charger or some headphones and things like that. 
and that is 53. You see those roses up there? 54, they're from the bridal section. And 55, they sell this trailing ivy in store as well. These big baskets came from there for two pounds each. So 56, 57, and these as well. 58, 59. Number 60, we have another DIY. This little hanging mirror thing was a mirror that um, sort of stood up on itself and we stuck a little placemat on there. 61, this tray came from Poundland and it was part of, I think it was a Mother's Day range or a Valentine's Day range, like with the idea of doing breakfast in bed. And I might have to do a little DIY with this because it's <coughs> just collecting dust. Going upstairs. Number 62 and 63, we have two items here from Poundland that were a DIY, very old school one, I'll link it in the description box, to make the sunbeam mirror. So we have the barbecue skewers and a mirror. Number 64, we have this fragrance mist that I use as a room spray, but I believe you can also use it as like a body spray or anything you like, in citrus herb. 65, we have one of these anti-aging collagen woven face masks from their number six range. Might be similar to Boots number seven range. And I've tried these before and they're really nice. 66, we have another planter. 67, we have this laundry gel. This is one pound and although I don't think it's the best, it's good for emergencies or if you've got something that's heavily soiled as like a little top up. So it's always handy to have in the cupboard. Number 68, we have one of these lighters, which are really good for getting into candle containers. I've got a few of these dotted around the house wherever I like to light a candle, including the bathroom. And please excuse these tiles because I want to change them. 69, we have this glass container, which I want to change the color. The color's not quite working for me, but I've got this vintage one here. So I thought this might look quite nice next to it, but I want to maybe paint that or do something with that. And then we have the deodorant that I always use. It's the Shaw Quantum Dry 48 hour protect. Really good, does the job. Number 71, we have this face mask, again from the number six range. It's a gold peel off limited edition one. Peels away blackheads and unclogs pores. And also gives you a really interesting look that is always perfectly timed for when the postman knocks at the door. Well, we've made it to the bedroom and we're on number 72. So we've still got quite a lot to find. Let's see what we can. You can pick up this saint Gradual Tan in store, which is really good. It's a face one. I've used it a little bit and works quite nicely. 50 mil, one pound. They also sell padlocks in Poundland. So I've picked these up on my travels in the past where I've been staying in a different city and using a different gym and just wanted a cheap padlock for the locker. They usually come in a set of two. They can also be handy for things like luggage and suitcases and that sort of thing. That's 73. 74, they also sell these plug adapters. So it's a great place to pick up some travel essentials once we are all traveling again. These are just one pound, so a lot cheaper than picking them up at the airport. And 75, another handy thing that I usually pack into my bag when I am traveling is this cigarette lighter a USB charger. So this is really handy to pass to a taxi driver or if you're traveling around in someone else's vehicle and you just need to charge your phone up. 76, they do these glass trays, which I think look really stylish and really nice to have just on the nightstand. I think fragrances look really nice displayed in these as well. 77, this storage bag. Again, it was something that was part of like the student back to uni range, but really big and sturdy. And I think these were two pounds or maybe three pounds, but really good value. And I quite like the design of this as well. I think it looks quite nice too. Fits loads of clothes. So when I swap out my seasonal wardrobe, I shove these under the bed. Okay, we have gone around the whole house and we are at 77. So I need to go back around the house and see what else I can find, see what I've missed. Oh, we have the bathroom storage. So all of these containers came from Poundland. So 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. They also sell paracetamol in store. You get three of these, I think it is, for one pound, which is pretty good going. So good to stock up on in store if you are going in. And that is 87. 88, you can get these watering systems in store you get two in a pack so you fill these up with water and they will top up your plants 
with water. Need to fill these up, as you can see. 89, this eucalyptus came from Poundland. 90 and 91, these are original Yankee Candle votive holders, and these came from Poundland for one pound each. You can get these furniture pads from Poundland. They come in quite a big pack with lots of different sizes, and I think these will be perfect to add on to this new piece of furniture that I picked up recently from H&M. So those are 92. 93, they do these paint stirrers that are really handy because they have the bit like a screwdriver to prise the lid off your paint in, so no more ruining your screwdrivers and then you can give your paint a really good stir with them. 94, they have a lot of DIY products in store. This is the DIY time with Tommy Walsh roof and gutter sealant. So I'll be sorting out my leaky old roof with that. And 95, we have Stop That Leak, which I haven't got around to trying yet. I'm gonna give everywhere a good squirt <laughs> with that as well, because my kitchen ceiling still isn't perfect. 96, we have Keep In Line Grout Pen, so you can go in your grout with this and make it nice and white. And then 97, we have these furniture touch-up markers that I used recently on some thrift DIYs. These are great if you've got any wooden pieces of furniture in your home with little scratches on that you just want to hide the scratches with. Really cheap solutions to do that for one pound. And then we have lots of items out on the roof garden, including this plant pot, so that's 98. We also have some solar lights out here, 99 and some plants, 100. Whew. So that is 100 Poundland items in my home. There's probably a few more squirreled away. I think I've definitely got some up in the loft for Christmas time. And there's a few DIY supplies knocking around for future projects. I might do some Poundland DIY soon, I think, with some of the items that I've got as well. So stay tuned for those. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video, something a little bit different. Let me know in the comments down below what items you have got in your home that you find really useful, things that have lasted you for years, that sort of thing. I would be intrigued to know what they may be and feel free to tag me in any pictures over on Instagram. And now if you haven't done so already, do make sure you head over to Kate's channel where she has got a Poundland haul for you. So you'll be seeing all the bits that she picked up in Poundland prior to the lockdown. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Do give it a little thumbs up if you did. And if you are new here and if you've come over from Kate's channel, then thank you so much for popping over. It's great to see you here. And do click subscribe if you are new. I post videos every single week. But that's it. I'll be back soon with another video for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.